damit. Hi, I'm Adam and welcome back to First Man Photography. Now, one thing I've never shared with you over the years is that after any shoot, any video that I've made, any professional job I've done, I suffer this crippling fear and anxiety that something's gonna happen to the pictures and the footage that I've captured. I have this kind of religious workflow where as soon as I finish, I will take the cards out of the camera and put them into a case to transfer home as soon as possible and then immediately transfer them onto my computer so they are backed up. I've never really talked about it before though because it has, I think, the potential to be a little bit boring. But that was until recently when Polar Pro reached out asking if I wanted to take a look at the new Polar Pro Slate 2. I said, sure, we can do that, but I want to put it through a extreme test. So this video is sponsored by the Polar Pro Slate 2, where we're going to be doing a submersion test. We're going to do a drop test from a very big height, and then finally a very severe crush test to see if this thing, which is kind of modelled around a hit flask where you just open it and your memory cards are inside, but will it keep those memory cards safe? It's made of metal as well. It feels very, very sturdy. It's a very nice thing. Hip flask size, goes in your pocket, nice and secure. I was out on a shoot anyway today doing some landscape photography, so let's also do some tests of this thing. Right, for the first test, I have hiked up to the top and I'm welcomed with this absolutely stunning view. But we've come here for a reason, and that is to do a drop test, an extreme drop test. And I'm going to take the slate to here, the green one, and launch it off this very tall cliff and see if the thing survives or what damage is caused by it. But I'm gonna get the drone up, confirm that there's no one down below me, and then <laughs> very carefully go to the edge. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous, <laughs> but let's do it. I also think one of my biggest problems is going to be finding it again at the bottom because it's kind of grass colored. So hopefully it'll land on the rocks where I can still see it. As predicted, it's proving very difficult to find, but I think I have just seen it just down there. If you can see, make my way down these very unstable rocks. It's almost at the bottom of the hill. Right, I'm calling that a pretty successful test because it's barely got a scratch on it. There are a few little marks, one just there, one on the front, a few scratches. A bit of a dent in the plastic there. I mean, I'm impressed considering, <laughs> look how high, how far that has come down. And then if we open it up, like I said, there's no memory cards in it, but if you had cards in there, they would have been totally, totally unscathed. So I could still easily continue using that, no problem whatsoever. Now, as a landscape photographer, I am often out and about in all weathers, including the rain, and uh, I have a rather good waterproof bag, but there are times when you're out shooting, your bag's open, it's getting wet, everything's getting wet. This Slate 2 is weatherproof. Now, when I was speaking to the guys at Polar Pro, I said, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a nice location, a nice tarn somewhere, and I'll make it a fun video and throw one in the water. They got back to me and said, well, yes, don't leave it submerged for too long because it's not officially waterproof. And I thought, well, I'm gonna do it anyway because if it survives this, then it will definitely survive anything we normally put it through out and about in the landscape. So it's time for the submerge in water test.
right, it's been bobbing around in the water there now for about five minutes. So I'm gonna go and grab it and what? No way. Shit, I've thrown the wrong one in. There's one I'm using which has over, holy shit, it has over a thousand pounds worth of memory cards in it. Ah, oh, shit, I've thrown the wrong one in. Ah, oh, no. Damn it. Right, well, what was starting off as a fun little test is now turned into a very real test. There is the slate, as you can see, very wet. And then you just wind that and you can see the little red bit, which means it's no longer sealed. And I'm gonna open it up. And as you can see, there are some very expensive uh, CF Express B cards in there. But I'm happy to report <laughs> With a lot of relief, I've got to say that they are, inside, completely dry. And I think, I don't know if you can see inside there, probably not, but that is completely dry as well. Run my finger around. I didn't mean for the test to get that real. The uh, Polar Pro Slate 2 does seem to be waterproof. Even though it's not official, it does seem to be. Right, after the stress of that, we've got one more test to do, and I think it's probably the most important one, and that is a crush test. But before we do that, I am um, set up for a photograph because it seems a shame to waste this scene. I've not been to this little spot before. This fence looks quite new as well. So I'm gonna use it uh, to my advantage for a nice leading line into this scene behind me, the tarn, the hills in the distance. And the thing, the thing that's most attracting me is what feels like a very, very, big sky so I have the uh, camera down on the tripod a little bit low at quite a wide angle 16 millimeters I love the big fluffy clouds it's not the most exciting image in the world but I'm gonna give it I think a kind of Ansel Adams black and white style contrasty edit and I still think it's going to be a nice shot yeah I think that's gonna be pretty pretty nice. If you were wondering as well, I really did put the camera in the water for the thumbnail. Bit silly maybe, but it's a, it's a cool thumbnail, you've got to admit. And it's an old camera and it has been submerged in the water before and it came back to life. I think it will again. Right, we're on to what I think is the most important test now, and that is the crush test. Uh, this nice silver grey one, or the, I think it's mountain they call it. We're going to do two things. Firstly, uh, we're going to stamp on it. I think memory cards getting stood on is what's going to be the most likely thing to happen, and I reckon this is going to be pretty good at protecting it. And then, if that survives, we will drop a rock on it as well. This, oh, this huge rock here. So when I stamped on it, it did bend the metal a little bit, but I could still get the tray out. The rock, on the other hand, has crushed the metal. So it isn't boulder proof. I guess the question is, is what has happened to the memory card? Because I put one in before we did that, just a slightly cheaper one. If I open, open it up, it won't come out. It's kind of stuck a bit, but I'm gonna try and lever the bottom off and see if I can get the insert out. See what's happened to the memory card. I'm just trying to lever it open with the knife here, which is probably not the surface thing in the world. I can't get it open here, so we're gonna have to take some more drastic action. Right, that seemed to work pretty well, so let's see now if we can open it up. There we go. Actually, I think I'm gonna need my gloves. See that? So 
we're gonna bend it open and see what that looks like. Oh, here we go, look, there's the insert, comes right out. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I think that is absolutely insane. That memory card looks completely unaffected and I think even if you'd had let's take these gloves off even if you'd had memory cards in these bits here as well it would have been absolutely fine take that out and that memory card is completely undamaged when I was cutting that open I, even I was a little bit nervous that that was going to be broken and this video was going to be a complete dud because I didn't have a plan B but look at that that's absolutely insane <laughs> it didn't end too well for this particular slate but the memory card is still intact so i am absolutely blown away to be honest and i think this thing if you know the reference is the toyota hilux of memory card holders so go to the link down below and check out the polar pro slate 2 you won't be sorry and give polar pro some love for sponsoring this channel i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you again very very soon Bye. It's just started to rain as well, so I need to get all this packed up. <laughs> See ya.